All right, everybody. I am calling out right now to any spirit that's in this forest. Maybe if you were a murder victim, if you're somebody that's been here for a long time, maybe you saw the filming of the movie, The Blair Witch Project. Come talk to us. Don't be afraid. So they're like watching us through the windows they and through the doors. Yes. in here. Do you want to hurt us? We're like, just do that. Okay. Uh, but you know, yeah, so there was a lot of times where it was creepy out there, man. And especially at the house, there was something there that was affecting everybody in the room. I'm telling you, bro, something is coming in. Oh my god. If you want us to open this box, turn that flashlight on. Oh my. What the fuck? How? Something just straight up entered my body. So you guys know these two guys. Well, well, if you don't yeah. know us, I'm Josh from Beyond the Dark. I'm Seth. I'm also from Beyond the Dark. And uh, we've come all the way to the Patapsco Valley State Park here, right outside of Baltimore, Maryland. This area, if you don't know by now, is where they shot that very eerie ending scene to the Blair Witch Project with the house where the death happens, you know, everyone in the crew gets killed by the Blair Witch. There's a very special place here in the state park where we're gonna head right now and do a ghost hunt. What do you guys have to say about this? Let me, let me ask so you. First off, like, Blair Witch. we've been wanting to go to Blair Witch Forest for a long time. Yeah. And we don't even, like, the Blair Witch story ain't actually true, but the woods itself, and because of how iconic Blair Witch is, we have to come no matter what. It doesn't matter. I mean, Colin has a tattoo of the Blair Witch symbol <laughs> on not, his arm. Not only does he have a tattoo, bro, you were telling us you have interview footage with the guy that shot the movie yeah and he says this place is haunted yeah, oh dude. my god and that's the whole reason why we're here we're investigating we're trying right. to see if stuff would happen to us it happened to them when they made the movie right and that's why we're here you never know well, i'm how excited are all feeling right now Scared. hot Scared. of the bugs <laughs> shaky i don't know what else is out here i mean you do have a solid bug right here oh Look my at god that. A oh, oh jesus that was huge <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know. What the, yo, that bug spray didn't even work. No. <laughs> Where is that no. shit? I want to point out, we put on so much goddamn yeah. bug spray before we started to this. Be fair, they are not on us, though. Besides him, they are not on us. Yeah. But they're surrounding us, but they're not touching us. Yeah. So. It's the lights. Yeah. And you can see the footage is a little blurry because it's so hot that there's actually a fog on It'll the goddamn up. lens. It will clear up. I think the lens has to adjust. I hope. Well, let's hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I look a little heavenly right now. There's an aura in, around my head. We're in heaven. <laughs> well, let's do this, y'all. Okay, cool. Where'd you get this guy? Okay, so weirdly enough, my wife and I were getting ready for these two to come spend the night, and we were unpacking stuff, and I came across this. This is, I mean, Jeez. regardless of what you believe in, it's definitely a creepy box on the outside. It's never been opened. This supposedly contains a ghost or like the eBay posting said a demon. Now, whether or not I Whoa. believe that that's true. Right, we I don't know. know. But I figured with these guys, yeah. why not try it, man? Why not bring it out to the forest and see if, I mean, we're going to a church, so. Yeah. Also, Dang. sorry, I'm sweaty as fuck if you see oh, dude, footage. <laughs> it's summertime. It's hot. It's hot it's, out here. Yeah, it's, it's literally hot. hot boy summer. Yeah. Uh, sweaty, sweaty boy summer. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. All right, boys. <laughs> it's time. He's got it? three motherfucking cameras. Three cams. <laughs> hey, if we die, someone definitely has found footage, right? Yeah, right they gotta right? find at least yes. one of our cameras. Yeah. Do you actually know where to go, Colin? Not at all. All right. No. Nice. That's great. Huh. This is a walk in the park, literally. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're approaching a light. Oh, it's just a freaking light, oh, like a regular. Okay. Bro, I was like. Floating orbs like already? Yeah, we like, just started. This? Is this Hakamok's park? Yeah, like, oh my god. It's been like 20 minutes. Yeah. Very foggy night. I don't I don't know if the camera can see that. I don't know. It's definitely kind of creepy. Yeah. Maybe it's abandoned. Alright, I do like abandoned. We do like abandoned. <laughs> We've come to our first obstacle. This is what separates the boys from the men right here. That's true. Well I'm going for it. Yeah, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man boy, so I gotta I guess go that for makes it. me just a boy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is definitely a little eerie. A little bit, yeah. Honestly yeah. though, it really is. Yeah. It's like super quiet. Oh. Super super quiet.
what we're trying to do is find this abandoned church, but you don't know where it is. I have no idea. I've never been here. So apparently we take this path for like a mile. A mile. And then it's to the right. Okay. Just right okay. off the path. Okay. So hopefully, uh, so. well, we probably went like half a mile so far or less, so. Yeah. yeah. We'll right. see. We'll, we'll see. see. Who's that? You heard that too? Hear that? The There's footsteps. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> what the f man? <laughs> <laughs> what? There that was, was a incredible. bug with sharp <laughs> feet. Oh. On, it felt sharp, bro. Bro, I just, well, thought, you were, shit, I just yeah. thought you were getting excited. No. Yeah. No. I touched, oh, my I touched God. something and it was like. Dog into my flesh. I knocked it off. So when that happened to you, then there's like footsteps up there, but it probably isn't most likely an animal. But I figured I'd point that out. Yeah. All right. There seems to not even be like a a path anymore. It's just dirt. Is this just like a little stream right here? I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. On the sign, there's a cross that someone did in black. Right in here. You see that building? Oh. Yep. Yo, that is eerie. Oh my god. Dude, we gotta go in there. Let's go. Yeah. I think there's a path, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, bro, I don't know. I don't see no path, man, even up to it. Here we go. <laughs> what? I had to have caught that on camera. Something just kicked that log. What? I swear to God, bro. I just heard somebody, like... Heard you heard a voice? You didn't hear it? No. Oh, I heard somebody kick the, the little tree log right over here. Oh, never mind, never mind. It could be the water. Look at this church. This is crazy, dude. Yeah. Uh, damn, guys, I just don't understand why this is out here. Can you look where? I gotta say, dude, it's creepy out here. It is. Like, just looking out of the woods, we are so deep in the woods that it's just. Can, watch this. Scream. I know it's funny, but I mean, seriously, dude. Yeah, no, it's Gary, true. You can even hear him say. I know, even me. I almost yeah. shit myself right there. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw that well, on you. At least you, we, but, we know, you know how deep we are out here. Yeah, at least now we know that we're absolutely fucked if we yeah. run into any problems. We'll get back to the investigation in a moment. But before we do, we have to turn back time and go back to 2016 when I first set out to explore the Blair Witch Project and its mythology in Maryland. Let's go back and start from the very beginning. I'm here with my mom. We just arrived in Burkittsville, Maryland, and today we're on the hunt for the Blair Witch. We're on our way to find the historic locations where the Blair Witch is said to have been. And in reality, we're gonna check out the filming locations where they filmed the infamous POV found footage horror film, The Blair Witch Project. And this is our adventures doing that. Let's go. The Blair Witch! The Blair Witch! beautiful out here in Burkittsville and later today we will be headed to the Black Hills in search of something we do not know exists. On to our next spot in search of the Blair Witch. This is pretty. It's 
So right now, we're on Black Rock Road, actually in the woods of the Blair Witch, trying to see if we can get her spirit to come out, and we just passed by one of the memorable locations from the film. The shed. I'm not gonna go in there because there's a lot of spider webs. Some random shoes slung up across the lines up here. So I'm here right now actually where the interview with the fisherman was held for the film. It's a secluded area here. It's cool to see that this is the exact spot where they were talking to that man about the witch. This old mill is actually pretty creepy. I'm surprised they didn't use it at all in the film. Someone's been camping out here. There's no path up here. And there is Coffin Rock, folks. These trees are so tall. You can see why the filmmakers chose this spot for their movie. It's haunting. These trees are crazy. So, it turns out we initially went on the wrong side of the rail. Or, I don't know why I said rail. <laughs> the trail, went on the wrong trail. And now we're gonna go on a brief, faster hike to Coffin Rock on the other side of the trail. Here we are now at Coffin Rock on the other side of the river. This is where five men were supposedly found massacred in a ritualistic slaying by the Blair Witch back in the day. There are imprintings and carvings of this very rock, and the Blair Witch is known to make an appearance around here. It's creepy, kinda. Look at all those spider webs. It's around here. Look, there's pieces of the college everywhere. So here I am at Hell House, supposedly the most haunted spot in the Baltimore area. Known by locals for legends of satanic worship, witchcraft, hauntings, and all of the above, and more. You can see I'm sweaty as hell, but we are here, and it does not disappoint. There you can see the cross. some of the altar back there. Oh, Jesus. Oh. What? What? Was that just randomly open? Yeah. What? No! Is this thing on? Well, 
first off, I want to say I'm sorry to my mom, my dad, my sister, everybody. I took the project way too far. I wanted to visit all the original Blair Witch Project filming locations, and, and I did, and, and this is where it got me. I'm cold, I'm hungry, haven't eaten in at least two hours, and I'm haunted. I'm heading in now. I have to end this. I have to see what's inside. Mary went missing, and I have to go find her. We're at the Sheraton now in, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Hello? Mary, where are you? Oh, I'm shaking so hard. Mary? 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 Oh God. Oh God. Mary? Mary? I really don't know where she is. Mary? So yeah, I thought you guys would enjoy that throwback footage. It was super cool being able to see the filming locations from the Blair Witch Project. But to get to the bottom of the haunting of the Blair Witch Forest, I had to pay a visit to the one person that would know the truth behind the legend. Well, thanks for doing this, seriously. I mean- Sure, no problem. Dude, Blair Witch was like, that was, and is continues to be what has inspired me to do our entire pretty much video series and when i've you know sat down and thought of the kind of videos or you know works that i want to emulate i always come back to blair witch just because of how much how i love it it's just dude i, I appreciate the love i mean it uh you know yeah it, it was uh i was talking to somebody else about it today and uh you know like the idea of like coming at coming at Blair Witch from like some you know like if I hadn't if I hadn't been part of making Blair Witch like I think I would have loved it you know what I mean it was like exactly the kind of movie that I wanted to see you know I'm real happy that uh, you know people continue to uh, you know to want to talk to me about it which is pretty cool man but but I do that it's it's cool man you know it's definitely like one of these movies that um, is it's not glossy it's not like it's really you know, and, 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 you know, there's hope. some people can't get through it because it is so raw. So mm -hmm. it's cool that you, that you got through it, you know, and uh, and dug it. I've, I've definitely felt like I've been in some situations filming our show that were a lot like Blair Witch. We've been in these forests and like, and we just had the camera and the light and no cell phones. We're like, dude, this is like literally a situation out of a horror movie. It just reminded us of Blair Witch because we were like, where the hell are we going? And we're like walking in the woods, some haunted ass forest. Yeah, man. I mean, that's like where, like, you know, for, for me, it was like camping. Like, I, you know, we go camping and you're like in the middle of nowhere and you wake up and you hear something. And mm. it's, it's probably just like a little raccoon or, you know, something pretty, you know, innocuous. But like it, it, in the middle of the night, you're just like terrified of like, is it a bear? And then you, and then my mind obviously starts going toward like, is it, you know, Bigfoot? Is it somebody, you know, trying to kill us? Like, you know, so that's where Blair Witch really was born, man. It's just being in the woods and being scared in the woods. It's so easy to, be, to get scared in the woods at night, you know? You can't ever tell what's out there. That's the crazy thing. Like animal wise, people wise, it's just darkness. So that's yeah, always- you're, And you are, you know, and you're not in your element, you know, like you are just like, you're mostly blind, you know, like there's all, all the other creatures can see so much better than you at night. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you know, and, and yeah, it's like it, it, you know, it, it's uh, yeah, it, it's quick, quickly get scared. I mean, I think that's part of the reason that like I was talking to another guy today, like, uh, um, 
uh, another writer today about, you know, like the Blair Witch was like this kind of worldwide thing, you know, and, and it's because I think it, everybody's afraid of the woods, man. I mean, you know, it's kind of like, you know, something that everybody shares. So I think those like movies like Jaws, you know, Blair Witch or even like haunted house movies, that's why they're so effective because everybody can relate with being in a house and, you know, being in an older house and being creeped out that way, you know, so. What was it like to actually, I've always wondered, produce the movie, like what was the actual production process like of filming? Was it ever creepy actually being out there? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, you know, we basically shot it over like eight or nine days, um, you know, continuous days in the woods. And we we were shooting like 24 hours a day. Like the actors were in the woods mostly by themselves. And then we would kind of intercept them in certain certain times during the day and give them, you know, food, give them rations and, and then give them instructions for like the rest of the, you know, for the, until we can meet them again. Um, and that's how we kind of directed them. They were directed for these directing notes. So we were basically, it was like a crew, you know, crew of about seven or eight people maybe. And we just handled everything. It was like a 24 hour a day play. You would like, you know, wake up in the morning or, you know, we, first of all, somebody was always sleeping out there at night with the actors, like not in the same area, but we always had like a base camp. So it was just a lot of camping, a lot of woods, a lot of just walking alone in the woods at night. And there was plenty of times where it was, oh, yeah, it would take all that. Some guy. Right there, man. <laughs> he's like, uh, right I'm, oh, he's right there. I see him. He's right. <laughs> okay. um, but, you know, yeah, so there was a lot of times where, you know, it was creepy out there, man. And, and uh, especially at the house, like the house at the end of the movie. I did not like being in that house alone. Like I remember one time, I'm not sure if we were shooting yet or we were just, we were start, about to start to shoot and we were like out there, you know, doing art or whatever we were doing. And I got, I was sidetracked in the cellar, you know, where the movie ends. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden I look around, there's nobody around. I'm like, oh, and it's night, the night's coming. You know, it was like right at dusk. The sun had already come, gone, gone down and this terror, like, oh my God, I'm alone in this house. Mm -hmm. And I like just, I mean, as quickly as possible, just moved out. And, you know, everybody was gone. I just felt like such a dumbass, like, you know, just being scared like that. But that house, you know, I mean, it had a lot of history. You know, when we found it, obviously people had lived there and, you know, who the hell knows what kind of stuff was uh, you know, lurking around there, you know? Yeah, so, I mean, what was the house? What What's the history of the actual building and kind of like, where was it? The house was, uh, um, I think it's called the Griggs House. You know, it was built, I guess, in the in the 40s. I'm, I get conf I get confused with the actual house and the legend that we came up with. You know, it's been you know in the in the mythology of the Blair Witch. Um, but it was just a house that it had that was on park land. It was next to this uh, abandoned Nike uh, missile base. We happened to find it, man. And uh, you know, from the as, as soon as I laid my eyes on it, I knew that it was the house. You know, it was already falling apart when we got there. It wasn't like super dangerous, but we had to shore up some stuff to make sure that everybody was safe and stuff. But yeah, it was it was pretty gnarly. You know, uh, even when we found it, it was destroyed. Uh, I think the park destroyed it probably about ten years ago. I think just uh, it was just getting dangerous. Oh, what a shame. What a piece of history. It's gone. Oh, man. And uh, there's this guy named Matt Blotzi who's like a big Blair Witch fan. He's writing a book about Blair Witch. And he, he runs this thing called the Blair Witch Experience, which, you know, every year we go out and there's a group of fans that come here and we go to all the different locations. And they, you know, they have a whole weekend of activities. I try to hook up with them at least once. We like build stick men in the in the in, in the forest where we where we uh, filmed the stick man. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's it's really fun. He was I forgot where the what where I was headed with that. What question was it? Uh, no, the uh, the house being torn oh, down. Oh yeah, the house. <laughs> uh, but he but we're thinking of like you know because because they go out there as part of the of the tour. They go out to the house to where the house is, but there's nothing left. And I was telling him, I'm like, you know, we should like start digging a little bit and maybe put out the outline of the foundation, like little by little every time we go out there, just to at least have like the outline so that people can imagine, you know, kind of <laughs> what it looked like. But yeah, man, I mean, if, if I had like a crazy amount of money, I would just, let's just build a house here, you know, and charge a, charge admission or whatever. But you know, it's kind of a pipe dream, but like do like a little Blair Witch theme park, you know, and then build oh, the, the Russet yeah. Par house. Cause, it's a, it was a cool house, man, yeah, for sure. 
Uh, did anybody, when you were filming, ever have any paranormal experiences on set, in the forest, maybe in the house, any cast or crew, or yourself? Um, we, like, gen genuinely, like, freaked ourselves out just by being in the woods. It was almost like um, the, the, the nature of what we were doing and, like, the, you know, kind of the dark nature of the, of the story, you know, the, this kind of movie that we were making. It, it's almost like it, we, we, we were kind of blessed by um, not really having any kind of, at least that I know of, I don't think anybody had any kind of weird sightings or, or kind of feelings like that. I mean, I, I know that there was, you know, there's some like little run-ins with, um, you know, with park rangers and uh, some animals, you know, like little animals, because we would we always had a, a base camp near the actor's camp. So, you know, animals would come around and stuff. But I don't think anything, you know, crazy happened anything kind of um, unexplained it was uh, for a for a supernatural movie in the woods it was very like not it was very non-supernatural you know? no, no, <laughs> just no stories unfortunately going back and circling around the beginning where did the story of Blair Witch originate in your mind like is there a real story that you took elements from to create that story I mean I, th I think we took elements from a lot of different things that you know because dan, dan myrick and i um you know came up with the original idea and then a bunch of other people came in and to to help flesh out the mythology of like you know the blair witch and you know all the you know kind of the the, the facts like the history of the of the you know of the myth dan and i kind of took a lot of different things from a lot of different things that, that kind of like creeped us out as kids but really i think the biggest thing would be probably you know just this just the kind of the salem witch trials you know the idea of you know a, a woman who was unjustly basically murdered because of witchcraft you know this ridiculous thing something Hmm. Ed? Um, I do not know what just happened here, but... And I was unavailable, or how was it? it? It said you were unavailable, and then I got a call from you, and I tried to pick it up, and it wouldn't pick up, and then I just called you back. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe somebody doesn't want us talking about this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's freaky. Man, something's out there. In the story as well, what was the inspiration for the stick figures? Also another question I've always had. We always had this idea of like these, you know, w these wooden totems or, you know, how do you make scary stuff with things you find in the woods, you know? Th there was some kind of thing where, okay, we're going to have hanging sticks, you know, and, and we made some diagrams of like these stick figures and they were much bigger than the ones in the in the movie, but these pretty impressive log kind of figures. And But it was just kind of inspired by mostly like Native American lore, you know, and like the whole, like the dream catcher. For us, it was like, there's no like, definitive like ideas to what they are but it's almost like a, a war it, you know it's a warning to people the a theory that i have and you know and it's something not that i don't think i don't know if dan ever you know we ever talked about it because we always loved leaving the the logic of it you know to somebody else you know what i mean because i you know because that's how that's what we love about all this kind of stuff and i think you do too is that there is no definitive answer because once you find the answer you're like oh it was just that like bigfoot if they find a bigfoot in some kind of oh it's just some we you know it was, it's it's an amazing story but then after that it'd be like well so much for that you know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> um, so we love the idea of just kind of leaving it you know open um so for me my personal thing was that when they got to the Stickman Forest, if you look in the movie, that's when like reality warped. Like that's when they were they were never gonna get out of those woods after they crossed into that, you know, Stickman area. Cause after that is when they're just like, you know, they can't, there's nothing, you know, there's no logic to the way they're moving after that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for us, and you know, it was just kind of like these creepy things hanging from the trees that were easy to make and stuff. And then Ben Rock, our production designer came in and started building the stick man and he came up with this really you know kind of simple design and that became the the basic stick man but if you look in the movie there's all kinds of shapes and sizes and we just kind of went out there and you know just built some stuff and it was you know for us it was like the more kind of 
you know, abstract they look, the, almost the better, you know what I mean? And mm. now on the Blair Witch Experience, like this little a fan tour, we go to the Stickman Forest and we build um, Stickman, you know, where we where we shot that scene. <laughs> so it's a fun, and we leave them there. So there's like, like <laughs> dozens, there's probably like dozens of Stickmen up in, the, in that area right now. And, no way. And, and we'll, we'll be there in October again, making more, so we'll see. Do you ever think people stumble across that and are like, Damn, the Blair Witch is real. <laughs> oh, right. I don't know if they think it's the Blair Witch is real, but they're definitely thinking that oh, these dumbass, some some the, the crazy kids are up here putting up putting up stick figures, and it's mostly like middle aged dudes, really. At the end of the day, do you yourself believe in um, like the paranormal? It doesn't have to be ghosts, you know, but yeah, more so just energy and and kind of the basis of the film. Yes, yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, I think that, um, you know, it's it, to me, it's like there's there's a science that we, you know, maybe that we call the paranormal, you know, and it's just a science that we don't understand yet. You know what I mean? Um, you know, and, and it's not like to demystify it or like make it, you know, less, you know, um, interesting or whatever. But, you know, it, you know, it's just something that we don't understand. But I definitely think there's, you know, there's an energy around certain people and the you know, energy around objects, and there's times when you go into a house and you can kind of, you know, I, I don't know if that's just like, you know, could be explained in other ways, you know what I'm saying, in more scientific mm -hmm. ways that we understand, but I think there is, it seems like, you know, we're all made out of energy, so it seems like there there has to be some kind of residual thing that we leave behind, you know, and, and especially, you know, like I, like I definitely feel like you go to, you know, like a place like Gettysburg, which is, you know, about an hour from my house, and you know the 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 amount of people that died in the, that battle. You know, you it's like the, it's a very kind of weird you know atmosphere there. You know, and then at night they you know people obviously report all kinds of things. You know, I, I mean I, I don't want to be disrespectful, you know, because it is a place where a lot of people died. But I would love to have the opportunity like to spend a night out in one of those you know and really like kind of even though I, even though I hate camping, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I sleep very badly camping. I like everything else, but except sleeping. You know, I I, I do believe in that. I, I feel that like there's uh, definitely something beyond what we can understand. And I love the, you know, the people that that are passionate about it and that like really uh, try to examine it, you know, scientifically and also, but but like really have fun with it. I think there's like a certain level of. Of, of it where it stops it stops becoming fun you know it's almost becomes like a religion and i don't like that you know the, the whole idea is to kind of keep an open mind about about everything you know uh, unless you can prove it and not you know none of us can prove anything in this you know this is the whole that's the whole point of it you know i had an aunt who who passed like last year unfortunately but she had you know i don't know if, the, if you call them issues but she was not like she had some some bouts of of not being normal like being so little peculiar and she claimed to see a lot of things and you know i loved going over there to talk to her you know you know and, and for me it was like there was this level of like like even to this day i'm like you know did she see something you know like i i still want to like i still feel that there might be a pot that there's a possibility that she actually saw some things that, they, that she was just more in tune with those kinds of things you know that's what i love the most about the like the randomness of most ghost sightings you know in most movies there's always like a reason and there's always like people like to, to know oh the ghost wants this but to me i love the idea that no but you don't know what the ghost doesn't want shit man it, it's such a ghost it's just a, a weird energy it's just try it's just messing with you you know what i mean or or make, trying to make you happy or whatever it doesn't know you know what i love is like the no explanation you know and i think that's what blair witch for us was there's always theories oh it could be this and it could be that but we like the idea that, of keeping it like kind of open-ended so that there's never like oh the blair witch is this thing that happened in this date and this is when it was created i'm just like no yeah you know, you, that's one of your that's your theory but people want answers you know i mean we want answers i think people like you and me maybe have realized that like the, the the journey is the fun part you know what i mean like once you get a definitive answer it becomes a little you know it just it just becomes more tedious you know what i mean um it's kind of crazy because you have you know with the team that made the film created 
kind of your own folklore for that area in like Maryland that you know some people actually out there are believing it's weird that you've enchanted you know the world in that way and I personally when I told one of my friends the other day that I was going to do an interview with you he was like oh dude did you know that that's based on a true story somewhere out in the mountains I was like no, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, and that's the, and that, yeah, and that's the beauty of it, man. Is that, oh yeah, the Blair Witch is real. Of course, it's real. They made a movie out of it. Yeah, it makes total sense, you know. So, yeah, it's kind of cool that there is this, uh, that, that this whole this 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 whole level of disinformation that's out there, you know. Like, I mean, we, you know, we had no idea that the movie was gonna do what it did, you know, that that it was gonna have this kind of crazy success, and you know, so many people were gonna see it, and a, a lot of the, a lot of things I think we, you know, that we did, we wouldn't have done if, like, naming the town Burkittsville, like, you know, we love, like, there's a town, there's actually a town called Burkittsville that is actually like half an hour, 25 minutes from my house right now. You know, Dan and I were driving around and we we were looking for, we need a town. We need a town that used to be Blair. And we walked up, we were driving around and we saw this beautiful town and we're like, oh my God, it's beautiful. There's like a mountain behind it. Oh, Burkittsville, it was, you know, founded in um, 1823, I think it was. So we're like, that's perfect. Burkittsville, they renamed it. They, it used to be called Blair and they renamed it because Blair was cursed, you know? <laughs> But it's still the same. It's the same. It's the same location, you know. So if we've known that it was that it was going to cause because that caused a lot of problems for Burkittsville, we would have like just used a fictitious town name, you know. But it was cool. We we loved the idea that people could look up on the map and and see Burkittsville. You know what I mean? Like for us, that was key. You know what I mean? Like if you looked up on a map of Maryland and you couldn't find Burkittsville, you'd be like immediately you'd be like, oh, that's. I guess it's not real, you know what I mean? Like, we love the idea of kind of, like, laying as many clues as possible and making as many things. Like, having you to dig really deep to find out that it was not real, you know? Mm -hmm. and, 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 back, and back then, the web was, you know, the internet was so so less of what it is now. It's just, it was just very limiting. It, like, like, it was just big enough to spread the disinformation, but not big enough for, like, people to, like, be able to check records and really find out that it was all a bunch of bullshit, you know? And people really thought that people had died and went missing, didn't they, when the movie came out? We never thought that we were going to, like, release it as, like, reality. Like, oh, this is real and, you know, and lie about it and stuff. But the people that bought the movie, the distributor, was like, yeah, I think we're going to market it as real for the first few weeks and then just see what happens. And, and you know, we were like, are you sure? You know, because we were thinking that there's going to be a backlash or whatever. But they were like, no, well, let's do it, you know. And so they really, like, pushed it. I mean, we, we would have... If it was up to completely up to us, we wouldn't have done it that way. But you know, maybe it wouldn't have been as successful. But uh, and the backlash, you know, the, the movie did have a black backlash. But I don't think it was because we tried to make it real. I think it was just because I think there was a certain level. There was certain people that that couldn't understand. Like, what the hell am I watching? I'm watching like a home video, and I'm watching these people yell at each other and snot come out this woman's nose and. What the, and what's that ending? With the ending, you know, it was just not, it was not a movie that like wrapped things up in any way, you know what I mean? And it was, it was really like the first ghost hunting movie, like the homemade VHS, the, the you know, inspired obviously paranormal activity. You can see the some parallels just right there between the two films. But yeah. So, I mean, I got one more question for you. Sure. Do you have any ghost stories from your life? like paranormal experiences or anything. It doesn't have to be, you know, I was sitting there and I saw a woman in a white dress floating down the hallway. I'm talking like, have you ever been somewhere that you've felt was just totally off or, you know, maybe been in an old home overnight, like you were saying, and heard something that you couldn't explain? Do you have any of those experiences or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I've like, it's like one of those things where like I've been interested in it and, and fear it also, because that's really what it what it stems from, is this fear of the unknown, you know? And I've had it for all my life, ever since I can remember, but I've never had anything like definitive where I'm like, okay, that is, an, uh, that is a UFO, or that is a weird thing, or no, that's definitely something happened there that was not natural. But I have felt, you know, you go into a house and you feel certain things, and like the most concrete time that that happened to me was we were shooting a movie called lovely molly we were in this old house that was you know that had been there from since the like revolutionary war so you know it was a lot of deaths in that house you know there was one scene that we had in the attic 
we had been so such a quick crew and everything was going you know like you know we had a lot it was an independent film low budget so we, we were moving fast and it's just the way it is always you know but for some reason we got into this attic and the energy like i just remember feeling like i was in this like a cloud like this not only like a physical cloud but like a mental cloud i think two of our lights blew out which is like lights rarely blow out even through a whole movie you never see a light you know sometimes every once in a while yeah one but it's not a just two for two to blow up in that location is just not you know a, a scene that we thought we were going to shoot in a couple hours it took us like five or six hours to shoot it and we just couldn't get it right and it was it was terrible and we came out of there and it was just like this thing had been lifted from our shoulders and then um a few weeks later we were doing some i think it was after we we wrapped the movie we were doing some marketing stuff and we had like um, this uh, medium come in, this talented, you know, this uh, gifted woman come in and she, you know, just to kind of look at the house. And she said, uh, you know, she went up all the rooms and she went upstairs and then went back down. She said, there's somebody up in that attic and they're really angry they're not they're not like malevolent but they're really angry that you didn't ask permission to come in here and you know and be in their house you know and we never we had we hadn't told her anything about anything i mean I, we had never even talked there so you know i mean i don't know what the hell you know was going on but it to me it's like okay there's definitely something that my body and the other people's bodies were picking up and and maybe the lights the lights blowing out was maybe just us not paying attention or or, you know something you know or maybe the energy had something to do and did something with the electricity or whatever but you know, to me it's like that was and it was just not it was not just me man it was everybody and then there was some got people that didn't want to do they would like I, I gotta get out of here i go you know they, they would just go downstairs and you know and it was kind of like and i i wanted to leave i just like i remember standing most of the time like in the steps on the <laughs> stairs that's that's like the only thing especially in movie making where i've really felt like there was something else um you know happening i mean i've been freaked out in the middle of the woods like blair witch you know you hear something and you're like what oh, is that you know whatever but nothing like where you where i felt like there was something something other than just me reacting to just you know something innocuous like to me it was like there was something there that was affecting everybody in the room you know so we've visited the original filming locations from the Blair Witch Project. We've talked to the director of the film. We've heard the stories, discussed the legends. Now let's fast forward to that fateful night in that abandoned, haunted church in the Blair Witch Forest. Be prepared for what you're about to see. It gets graphic and disturbing. Okay, everybody, so we are now at the part of the night where we're going to begin investigating the legends of the Blair Witch Forest. This place is not only very scary, but like I just demonstrated in Seth's video, if we were to scream out here in the forest, no one could hear us. We are so deep in here. It's about a 40 minute hike to get to this abandoned church. So it's, I don't know, being out here, just already looking at the trees, the emptiness of the area, there's definitely a vibe, sort of a, a negativity that's here that you can feel almost tangibly. I don't know if that's related to something that happened here, if that's related to <laughs> uh, the bodies that were found here, the church. There's so many points of energy and activity that it's a big mystery. But as always, we give away a gift bag every single week here on the Paranormal Files. So if you would like to be entered to win this week's gift bag, it's very simple. All you have to do is like the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and comment in the comment section, not the live chat, I love the Blair Witch. I'm going to give you all 10 seconds to do that now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, as you can probably see, there are a shitload of bugs out here. There's flies all over Seth right now. I am sweaty as f***. It is so hot and so humid out here. And yeah, we're gonna begin this, but thanks by the way for filming that intro. Yeah, I got you, bro. My guy. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? To be completely honest with you, bro, I mean, we've investigated a ton of spots. I don't expect anything to go off here. Interesting. I'm I'm half half. I think stuff could happen here, but I'm gonna wait. Gonna I wait hope something does. I already started. Like, I, would, I would love so, to, but we'll see. Yeah, just a second ago, the REM pod was tweaking out, but 
Yeah, we, we didn't, didn't catch it on camera. Yeah. Wait, did that capture it on camera? Actually, it did. Because hey. this kid has been recording the whole time. There you go. And that's why we run with multiple cameras. Well, we've got two REM pods, the Paralyte. We've got a music box. We're going to use Josh's British device. Yep. We've got a static over there. That was DNA. And, uh, yeah. I'm ready, y'all. Let's switch into Let's red, boys. Yeah. It's time to start. Oh. Now, hold up. All right, everybody. I am calling out right now to any spirit that's in this forest. Maybe if you were a murder victim, if you're somebody that's been here for a long time, a member of an indigenous tribe, maybe you saw the filming of the movie The Blair Witch Project, I don't know. Or you're a spirit that's completely unrelated. We're calling out to you because we want to know who you are and we want to know your story. But just to introduce myself, I'm Colin. My name is Josh. Um, again, with what Colin said, we're here just to kind of learn about your story, who you are. Do you know that you're dead? Are you trapped here? Anything like that. And we have a bunch of devices and things left around us that you'll be able to speak and talk to us through them. And I'm Seth. If there's any spirits out here, would love to communicate with you, learn your story, know what you have to say. Don't be afraid of us. Don't be afraid of our equipment. There's nothing here that's gonna harm you. We're here only because we're curious. So please, if you're here, come forward. We come in peace. We only bring good energy and good vibes. So if you wanna talk, we're here to listen. We have open ears and we genuinely wanna hear your story. So yeah, come talk to us. Don't be afraid. Is there somebody here? Anywhere in the forest? Can you walk towards my voice? <laughs> I almost just busted my ass. <laughs> if there's anybody here in this church or in this forest, can you please give us a sign? Can you make one of our devices go off? Whoa. Okay. Appetite. 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 All right. Hungry? This could have been a church area where they ate. Maybe, yeah. That's true. This That's is true. ruins. They I always think. eat in churches. Is there something you want to eat? If so, can you walk through this door or touch the red blinking lights that I'm pointing at with the antenna? Are you hungry? De cast. Decompose and it says cast. Hmm. Cast. I can cast of the movie? Yo, could be. Blair Witch, we're here doing the movie. Are you talking about the movie? Did you see some of the cast members? Is this forest haunted? Baby. Baby. Oh, 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 got that. Oh my green, God. Green, green spike right there. Cave, cave. Dude. In the green, I heard it. Yeah. I heard it. That thing has been completely yep. silent this I whole know. time. This definitely caught it because I went like that, so they're gonna have to zoom in. But we got that. Oh so this God. a baby. Card. Card and Albert. Was the baby's name Albert? It said it says Albert and it says Card, and we knew a baby died because that just went off. Dude. Okay, I'm 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 freaked out that the REM pod even went off because I like I said, guys, I just don't think anything was gonna go off out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that was bizarre because it was like somebody just walked in. Yeah, yeah. You know? It was so quick. Super Done. Did you just... It, it got cold, bro. That's what 
dude, there's I'm like, not even f there's with like you, a, man. There's like a draft right here, right? Yes. Yep. Dude, I, I got goosebumps. No, okay. there is. And we've, we've all been sweating this yes. whole time, bro. Yes, dude. And now all of a sudden, we're all cold with the Alice box. Hey. I see Sally in name. Sally. Sally. And you were at Sally. Wait. Look. That's the video that I just posted this week. Yeah. Sally, dude. No way. Yeah, Sally says, House. The name. Sally. Sally. Okay, that's freaking Yo, creepy. That's freaking freaky, man. Do you know Ew. who this is? Yeah. If you do, can you say his name? Dude, I full on have goosebumps, dude. Like, hair on end. I can see it. <laughs> like, you can see my shit sticking straight up, bro. Holy you can crap. See my goosebumps. And we were making yeah. jokes about that earlier. We were, we yeah. Were making jokes, like, it's so hot, you can't get goosebumps. I know. I like, just now felt something. Yeah, I think we're starting to get the energy in here. If someone's really here, can you give us another sign? Can you set off another device like you just did? Again, we... Scene? Scene. Scene. Like and a scene in a movie? Whoa, I heard shuffling in there. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. And it just said scene, and you just asked. It's going again. Hunting. Hunting. No. Oh. And we're in the woods. Oh. We just heard some noises over there. Dude, this is no oh, joke. That box is huge. Ah. <laughs> no. Oh, God, you knocked it towards me. Jesus. Oh, I, I smacked that. Oh. oh. I love how like stuff is literally happening to us, but we can joke around. This is how you know we've been doing this for way too long. Yeah. Like, we're not like scared at all. <laughs> we're a little too decent. Yeah. Jaded man, jaded. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> all right. This Are you is, no, hunting us? I think it sees us. It's like yeah. it's hunting. Yeah, it's, yeah, you exactly. See what you us? said. Want to hunt? Yeah. Do you see us? Unless it can't come in here because it's a church. So it can only be on the outside. Oh, oh, the paralyte just fucking, dude, that oh, just again. fucking, that just spiked all the way to the top, dude. And you really? see that? Yes. No, you I didn't see that. See, I just yes. jumped. You scared me. You got so that, that on there. So that must have caught yeah, it. You got that on there. Well, I got on your camera too. If, oh, yeah. if I don't have it, I'm taking it, bro. Right, right. Thanks, Colin. Thank yeah. you. All right. I'm going to yeah. move over just in case. Okay, so, dude, it's friendly brought the truck. Oh, oh, there you go. There you fucking go, man. What? The fucking REM pod again, right there. Oh, my God. Factors. Factors? So is, is he talking about the church and the factors that play in what we just said? I don't know. Ooh. The church plays a factor in why he can't come yeah. in. Yeah. Because, dude, that's like right. you brought it up and bring up church. That went off. A dead a baby died here, and Albert was the name, apparently, if we're going by the Alice box. Mm -hmm. The Alice box is, is usually never wrong for us so far. I got to tell you, that is kind of scary, man, that that is going off right there. Yeah. And it's not in here. It's the only that's going yeah, on too. consistently. And it's, it's seen and hunting us. Bro. Hunting, bro. Yeah, that is bit. That's yeah. That's really. I mean, crazy. that is straight up something that cannot walk into the church. It's coming up, almost taunting us. You know, are like you, come over here. Are you an evil spirit? Is that why you can't come into this consecrated ground? Do you haunt the forest? Thirty. Thirty. Hmm. If you're able to come through here, please do. Come join us. Welcome us. Imagine the music box goes off. Oh, oh my I god. Oh my god, I want the music box to go off. If you're out here, please make yourself known. Faith. Face. Okay, I'm gonna ask a question. If you're a demon or you can't enter the church, can you walk up towards our voices? I saw that you were playing with that light over there. Can you do that again? Walk towards the red light. Despair. Despair? Remove and despair, it says. Remove despair. Are you here? Do you want us to leave the church? Thermal. 
thermal. It's thermal these? Because mm -hmm. red's thermal, in a way. Heat? Heat, thermal. It is f***ing hot. Thermal. Is it true that these woods are haunted? Whoa. Oh, got it, right there. Yep, got it. It blinked. Air light. I didn't even see it. Damn. Nothing never goes off, bro. Dude, honestly, that was never. great. That was like a flash of mm -hmm. the light. East. East, east. All right, let's go east. I don't know where that is. <laughs> east. Let's go east. I it thought said, you said west. Uh, it said east. I'm going east. Is that right here? I don't know. The sun's not out. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Do you want me right here? Is this east? Blue. What is that? Blow. Blow? Blow. <laughs> is he trying to give us a sign or something? Like he's so close. Faith. Faith! Faith? Yo, faith. that's faith. crazy. Faith, faith in a church. East. Faith. I mean, we're in a church, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Salvation. Salvation! salvation. That's crazy too. Reach that's salvation. Reach that's salvation. What it says. Yes. This Reach spirit came salvation. to church and, and got, got saved. Reach this salvation. Got saved, dude. dude, that's so crazy. It's a good spirit here. Yes. This is somebody who passed on in the afterlife yes. successfully and, and reached heaven or salvation. Wow. That's crazy, dude. That's that wild. Makes I, perfect sense. That, and that's the kind of intelligent stuff that we love to hear on on ghost investigations. Oh, yeah. You know, like. Okay, one more time. Thank you for talking about how you were saved. Maybe that was you that walked in here. Can you let us know one more time that you're here, or we're gonna move to another room? You can speak. You can touch one of these lights again. We've seen it happen. And just to point out, there are no power lines, no power grids, nothing. We're in the middle of the woods. Yeah. So these things should not go off at all. We're going to leave now if you don't talk to us. Scream. 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 I screamed right at the beginning of this. You did, too. But it wasn't on my camera, but... Should we all scream? Yeah. As yeah, let's do okay. it. What do we say? Just Should scream? we? Just scream, bro. I'm like scared. Well, I mean, we are in the dude. We are so far in the middle of the woods. No one's gonna hear it. Let's just let's do just it. All... <sighs> all right, let's do that. You count though. Okay. okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Safe. 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 Save. Save. Weeps. Weeps? Weeps? Weeps. Like cry, like yeah. weeps. Jesus what? It's starting to rain. Yeah. Maybe we should, so now, I don't know if we're still getting stuff here or not, we can try moving our stuff to that room. Yeah. I keep that's a whole other I keep feeling like I'm like I want to go in there. Yeah, I do. Yeah. No, me too. I will. Yeah, we can just pick up our stuff and move it. All right, let's do that. Let's move to the next room. We're getting good stuff here. Don't get me wrong. I love this room. I think we go to that room. We open the witch's box. Yeah. Let's see what that does to this place. You might ruin the whole grounds of this place in history. I sure hope not. Amazing. Well, Randy. I don't know a Randy. I was really hoping that would say witch. Um, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Alphabet. Alphabet and surprise. 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 Unless, unless they're ready for the, the witch box that we're about to bring in the next room. All right. Oh, Jesus. Vile. Vile. A vile surprise, bro. Vile surprise. I think, Look at that, man. If vile surprise, they're talking about how we shouldn't open that. If we open that, we're going to get a vile surprise, like something bad. All right. That's what it sounds like. So let's go open it. Yeah, that means we have to open <laughs> it now. 
I'm sorry. Let's see what happens. See, that's a bit freaky right there. The we are watching, not enjoying that. So what I did is I put the music box here at the entrance of the church itself with two cat balls on the bottom. We're still setting up, putting some stuff everywhere. But this is the last area of our church. Assuming that at one point you would walk into the church, this is where you would sit, you would have your seats, and the, the priest would be right here doing his ceremony. No way. Whoa! The thing I will say, not to debunk, but I'm gonna debunk. I think it could be the tripod. Can't move it. Yeah, look, look, see, it can't be. Whoa. Dang, it's so hard to say, I don't know. Hold up, wait, let it sit for a sec. I mean, nothing's moving over there. It shouldn't be going off. If you're, if that's you, could... I was just about to ask <laughs> if it could step away. <laughs> it's hard, I don't know, yeah. I... Oh, there it goes, there it goes! Uh, Yo, something I don't know. just dude, something fucking came in here, bro. Something that. could be in here right now. Yes, I don't. I'm so confused. Yeah, it could be something. Okay, if real. that was the tripod, it would be going off the whole the time. The whole time. Bro. Yeah. Well, hang on. I'm gonna move it just in case. Yeah, Whoa, yeah. Cap ball, cap ball. No. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god. Okay, something. I'm telling you, bro. Right, something is you. fucking coming now I in. It. And that car dude. alarm that just started going off, dude. Yeah, and it's still going off. Look. That If that's you, please, can you step away? Dude. Can you just enter here? I think it can't come in, bro. It's always at the entrances, bro. I know. The outside, the front door to the church. So they're like watching us through the windows they and through can't the doors. Yes. in here. So they, they can't be good spirits then. That's a bad Assuming, sign, yeah. man. It wants us to open that box, I think. I forgot about the box already. I'm scared now. Should, should we even open that box? Yeah, no. I don't know. You think we should? Yes. All right. I gotta, I'm gonna at least move the box anyways. But now because the music, the, the ball went off, now I believe in it. Bro, stop, wait. Right when you said you're gonna move it, it stopped. Look at that. I know. Dude. Hold up, see if it goes off again. Can you come back here? Oh, oh my God. Oh. All right, now I really do believe in that. It's just creeping in the corners here, bro. It can't come. Can you please step away from the box just so I can ask you a question? If you cannot and <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. If you cannot enter this church, set- <laughs> Yo. Dude, uh -huh. this is typical demonic behavior, man. It's trying to piss you off. Every time Seth was just saying something, this thing interrupted him. Yeah. Okay, so this is really interesting. I'm gonna point out, like we were saying, the music box, the cat ball behind me, the REM pod, everything is alerting and triggering right on the edge of the church. It's almost like we're here in a safe space inside of the church, and then something is right outside. It's waiting for us to step outside, you know? It will not come in. Our devices are not spiking in here. And the only responses that we were getting in here were, I was saved, salvation. There you go, bro, there you can go, man. Dude, what? Dude. They're literally outside. They're right next watching. to your camera too, man. Like honestly, I didn't. Again, I didn't expect anything to go off here, so I'm kind of freaked out. <laughs> yeah, like, we've had a lot. We had a good, good a amount. lot for just in the middle of yeah. the woods, man. What, what we were gonna pull out, Colin? You have you want to try an app? Capo, Capo. Oh, exactly again. That's the third time. Yep. And this is when we just started talking and pointing about it. So we have the Spirit Talker app right now. This is a ITC research app, almost based on the same technology as the Ovulus. Okay. And it's essentially an algorithm that gives you words to simplify it. Like how the Alex box was. Yeah. But it's for box. this, but and I've it's on had, a cell phone. Yeah, and I've had some really, really crazy experiences with the Spirit Talker, so I'm confident this thing is gonna, it's gonna do something for us, man, I know it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, this will be the first time on Beyond the Dark we even used, I think, a cell phone as yeah. a... 
in our tools. Legit yeah. App. So that's cool, man. Hey, that's why we collaborate too. See what other people use and what they try. And to see my sweat. Yep. <laughs> Dude, I'm here in walking. Are you mad you can't come in the church? Oh shit, the flashlight no, just turned on! No. I was just about to fuck about that! Immediately, man! Oh my god! I didn't even. Oh man, I Can you shut boring. that off? Step away from the wall. Oh, yeah, nice. Immediately. That's man. nice. That's I'm nice. I was just about to say that we're adding the flashlight to the. Yo! Right when you said oh flashlight. Oh my god, dude! Alright, so what can we talk? What can we say? I guess we can ask yes or no questions. Yeah. yeah ask if, they're, if they can come here. Are you not allowed in this building? Light the flashlight if you can't come in. Oh, oh dude. That confirms that. <laughs> yeah, dude. That confirms can you it. Can turn the flashlight off for us so we can ask you another question? Oh, oh. my god. Okay. Oh. This is good response. Can you not enter the church because you're... Yep. I was going to ask if Doesn't it's matter. because it's an evil spirit. Yo, right though, when I got... Are you over chills, 30 years old? Yes. Oh. It said 30 on the Alice box. Yes, it did. Dude, these responses are... Yo, I gotta be, be careful. Fun. I'm sitting on the f***ing edge of this. Are you a man? <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is incredible. Yeah, this is actually some of the best like responses I got. This is crazy, Like, real man. time. All right, turn that off again. Are you a demon? It's not a demon. I hmm. really, really hope that, that that wasn't that's, a yes. One more time, light that up if you would consider yourself to be a demon. Hmm. <laughs> Same pause, too. Same pause and duration to light up again. I don't like that at all. I don't f with whatever this thing is, if we're going to be honest. Yeah. Nah, it's a totally different change in the way I felt from that room versus where we are right now. Yeah, but remember, even over there, they couldn't come in. So it's been the same ghosts lurking mm -hmm. here. Yep. Are you the same person that we've been talking to this whole time? <sighs> wow. It makes sense, though. It is, man. That makes so much sense, though. They're just peeking through yeah. the windows, bro. Lurking. Can you turn that off for us? Even, oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Um, Do you want to hurt us? <gasps> I'm staying here tonight, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Got your sleeping bag? I'm not even leaving it's this room. It's weird. It wants to communicate with us, but it apparently wants to hurt us at the same time. That's odd. I mean, it is. It's answering our questions. Maybe it's trying to scare us, dude. 100%. That's what it's doing. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Damn. That's intelligent. This is go. this is an intelligent spirit. That's amazing. Okay, can you turn that off again, please? Boom. I, I like, I'm blown away right now. I didn't think anything was gonna go off, and now we're getting flashlights on top of REM pod, cat ball, music <laughs> box, like yeah. Every, every device is going off and I, mean, I didn't this is the Blair Witch Forest. This is crazy. Like what what else can we ask? Let me ask some. Yeah. When we leave this church, are you gonna follow us or harm us in any way? Oh bright as shit too, man. Look at that. That's so bright. Are there multiple spirits that haunt this forest? I don't want to get followed back after this, though. Yeah, me either. All right. Well, we can just... Can you turn that off for us? Please? Thank you. Can you move something in here? Throw something? Push the flashlight? 
with your hand. Can you set off another one of our devices so that we actually know this is you that we're talking to? It doesn't matter which one, just any device, except that flashlight. Turn something else. Whoa, did you just hear that? What? I just heard a whole tree branch snap. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. But I sometimes hear weird stuff too that y'all don't hear. If you want us to open this Dybbuk box, please turn that flashlight on. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It knows there's something in that thing. Now I don't want to do it. I, yeah, I almost don't want to do it either. Well, dude, Colin, do you have I don't even like know. Do you have any experience? Idea. Like, we, yeah. we definitely the should not be doing this. The only thing that makes me feel okay is that we're in the church, but then I feel like, what if we leave the church? That's the problem. What okay. If we leave the oh, okay. He's just he's just going for it. All right, um, guys, what you're about to see, please do not ever attempt to do something like this on your own. Just Ooh. full disclosure, this could end very badly for anybody. After this, do we have sage? Do you have sage, Colin, or anything? If this is a bad idea, can you light that Dude, flashlight up? The camera's not even focused on us. Oh my god. Oh. Do you see that though? Yeah. The camera's not even focused on us. Yeah. Look at it. Guys, I'm showing you the footage right now on screen. It's the, not, it's not focused. focusing. Now it is. Now Andrew. it is. That's but so we were weird. Maybe the whole time. I don't know. We were. Bro, I know how to open this thing. Maybe it's you a sign You can't even that... open up the box? No. Dude, maybe that's a sign that we shouldn't be opening this. Yeah, we don't have to. We could smash it against like something. Oh. Oh, God. Oh! What is that? Something came out. Yo, I think this is ash, bro. What the fuck? Yo, there's will someone sand. grab this? Dude, um, there's... It's. I think it might actually be yeah, ash, like you said. I feel... Oh, this feels weird to even touch, dude. That, that That's weird. It smells weird. What is it? What's in there, dude? These, these two were in there. Marbles? Marbles? Is that a candle? It's a candle. Oh. A vial. <gasps> Oh my god, it's it's like the dibbit box said veil or vial, the same thing, that's what that oh, is. Actually, I just what? turned on right when you said that too. Wait a second. I think it's talking about what was inside before we even knew. That's Maybe. crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Oh. Vile. Vile. A vile surprise, bro. Vile surprise. Think... Look at that, man. If vile surprise, they're talking about how we shouldn't open that. If we open that, we're gonna get a vile surprise, like something bad. All right. That's what it sounds like. So let's go open it. Yeah, that means we have to open it now. I'm sorry. Let's see what happens. Like yes. Ocean? Look at I this. don't know. That's like witch related. Hell, it, Isn't that odd? It is, dude. That's really freaky. Uh -huh. So there's some other things too, if you look in the back. It's. Why are they. Oh! What? Cat ball, cat ball. Whoa. Right when we open it up. For time, dude. It's getting closer with the flashlight. Too, I know. Man. That's crazy, both devices off at the same time. As soon as we open the box. Now, dude, I, I'm serious. This looks like some kind of ritualistic Yo, stuff. Yo, bro, hair? <gasps> what the fuck? Yo. Cap all right when I pulled that out. No way. That's hair. Like a wig. Like, is it a wig or is it like actual human like hair? Like hair. I don't know. Again, guys, we don't know because we, we don't know what's in here. Yeah, so, we like, I'm gonna put this down because I just don't want to touch that box at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Can I feel it, actually? I just said I didn't want to touch it, but I just need a... I can't, I don't think... I don't know. I don't know if this is actual human hair, but... It's still here that someone could have used yeah, either or wore. Way. Like a wig, you know what I mean? It's very... Either way, uh, it's very realistic human yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Huh. Fucking cat ball's been going off non-stop since we opened it, dude. I know. Dude, someone's right here. I know. Is this your hair? <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. I hope it's not. It smells, man. Thanks. So we'll just put it over there. I gotta say, like, that's... The stuff that was in that box is... 
stuff that I would expect to see a witch use, like right. a, a vial, one, th that little crystal ball type thing. Like, huh. that's just really weird that we have yeah. that stuff right. in the Blair Witch Woods. Very witchy, man. We have to take that with us to the next spot after this as well. If, and the here, maybe. Yeah, if any of you guys know what that ball or any of that yeah. stuff actually is, please let us know. Because again, we have no freaking clue. I'm gonna like, unseal this. I don't know what was trapped in here. Obviously something was sealed in here. Do you break it? Or is that I have to do? Might have to. Oh. It's out now. Dang. I'm creeped out right now. Man. I know, I know. I, we, we, none of us talked and we're just like freaking out ourselves. That was a that bit was dark. That was a real moment right there. Like yeah. I, was, I was gonna say something like, like a joke or something, but like I couldn't find any words to say. I know. I'm just genuinely freaked out. What's this? Oh, trick for <laughs> This is about to get dark. I feel like a stinging pain right here. Really? Yeah. Right here. Well, I don't see any marks, so oh, hopefully you're there. good. It's really weird though, because this I was handling a lot of stuff with this hand. You were touching all the divot right box up though. Here, it felt like a shooting pain. Don't know what the hell that would be, but Okay. For anybody that's out here, if you're the thing that likes to sit at the edge of this church. We have a device, a tool. What's that? Already started. Energy's here. Did you hear something? Like that? Yeah. Hear it over there too. Yeah. Bro? That's where all this shit's going out. I don't even know. It was like a scurry. Real quick. There you go. Okay. Whoa. We want to talk to okay. you, and if you use your voice will be able to hear what you're saying. What are you? Well, right when I turned it on, dude. Right when I hit dude. the start, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. And that hasn't gone off since we I opened know. the box. I know, I know. Okay, yeah, you can come back towards us because we want to talk. What are you? Are you a human? Yeah, I'm hearing stuff there. I heard that. I heard that. Yo, let me stick this out, bro. Let's do an experiment. Foam, bro. Hey. Oh my god. Immediately, man. The, first the phone. Thing. First word is phone. And you're on the phone. Yes. Yeah, that's that's what we're going to talk to you through is this phone. Thank you. Here, look. If you can't come in here, I'm going to hold the phone, like you're asking, out here. Who or what are you? Can you tell us? Is the spirit that we were talking to earlier still here with us? Do you want us to leave the church? Oh, what? Right next to me. Oh, fucking scare the fuck out of me. Oh I'm so on alert. Yo. Evidence. Evidence! Evidence, Evidence bro, yes! Evidence. As soon as the cat ball goes off, it says evidence. Yes, we're, we're using that as evidence to know that you're real. Yo, I'm, I see like a blinking light over there. Do you actually? It was like blue and it was on the ground. But it could be nothing. But I'm not sure what that means. Okay. Who haunts this building? Can you tell us that? Do you not have enough energy to use this device? Wind. Wind? Are you an elemental spirit? Bro. You heard that? That sounded like That a was a whole tap on their tree. Yeah, right there. 
crazy the flashlight stopped going off too. I know. Dude, yeah, I didn't even notice that. It hasn't it like gone moved, off since it, we opened the Dybbuk box. Exactly, no, it, yeah, it moved from it. Oh, right what? there though, right there, sorry. Fuck, man. Right when you guys turn As we've been right. looking at it the entire time, mm -hmm. it wants our attention here so freaking bad. Bro, bring it back over there again. Okay. Shit, man, obviously you can tell we're on edge. Yeah. Who are you? Terrified. Holy f We just we, said. You said you're on edge, bro. We just said we were scared. That is an evil spirit. It's just mocking us and, and all this stuff. Oh, dude, it said hunting. I know. In the Alice box. Are you hunting us? Funny how this thing stops going off when we come over. Oh, oh my what? god! Oh my god. What the Man. Literally mid sentence talking about it. That's insane. Pointing at it too, man. Pointing at it. Dude. We're just wondering are you an evil spirit? Are you trying to scare us? Heart. 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 I mean, my heart was beating right there. Yeah. It's been pounding. Is there anything you want to tell us? Do you have a message? Give us a sign, please. I straight up just heard somebody talking. What they say though? I left. Don't. Left. And I heard it to the left. Yes. Oh my god, I heard somebody whispering in this direction right here, I swear to god. You're over here? You know what justifies you saying that is you heard it and then it said left. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know what I mean? What's the coincidence of that? Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying, it's these, this is the evidence that can prove ghosts are real and this is actually all happening. Dude, I haven't been this on edge in a really long time. We like haven't done we haven't done videos like this in a while either, though. Too. This place is spooky. Whoa! Man. Twig, just like a full-on footstep. I heard that. I heard that. In the church, though. Are you coming into the church? Hell! Hell! Oh my God! I just got chills through my whole goddamn. Hell, body. man! Who's coming to the church? You coming into the church? Hell! Oh my God! Fuck. We should probably stop now. Yo, bro, think... what are the odds in a church? I know. Hell. I've I never know. gotten that word before, we ever. We got salvation and, and hell. hell in the same session. Fuck, dude. Yo, I got this is getting goosebumps. actually Man, too once again. bad. I have chills all down my back right now. I can't even sleep now, bro. It's Fuck. colder too, man. I know. It's gotten a little colder. The wind just picked up a little bit. You feel that? Yeah. Yeah. It said wind. Now yes, I, don't even want, I don't even want to do this anymore. Now Dude. I'm like, all right, we we got it. Like we we proved ourselves. This happens you know is I mean? crazy, and we still have one more place to go to. Yeah, I know. So are you saying that you are from hell, or you want us to go to hell? Can you tell us what you meant? Insight. 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 It knows something about hell. It has insight so about it must hell. Be from. It's from hell. That, that's it's here to mean, share it with yeah. us, man. That might be actually true, yeah. Or, or, it's a priest and they're pissed that we're trying to talk to the dead, like it's a sin. True. And they want us to go to hell and they want to give us insight. Worried saying like, about us going to hell. Right. If a priest saw what we were doing right now, they'd be pissed. They would be pissed. Mm -hmm. That's, and I'm only saying it that way just because I want to feel better about myself right now because <laughs> it's, it's actually nerve wracking. Yeah, it really is. I want to have that thought in my head rather than the demon one. So, let me ask you are you religious? Do you believe in God? Wow. What? Wow. All right, that means that it's pretty much saying like, wow, why would you say that? Like, it's probably a demon <laughs> in the end. It's Look. crazy because after we opened the Dybbuk box, the communication's been less. It's been yeah. dark. It got dark as soon as we opened the freaking Dybbuk box. More darker, yeah, because remember the flashlight was talking to us already. Like we, and that I, was I evil. thought when we were talking to the flashlight, that it was a genuine like okay conversation i wasn't sure who or what it was mm -hmm. but i didn't feel weird or, or like oppressed in any way well it said it would hurt us if we left the church as if it went by the yes and no's right but now all of a sudden it's talking about hell yeah and yeah i don't know i'm, <laughs> I'm uneasy as hell right i just now. don't like that it said wow when you asked if are you religious 
Like, yeah, wow, why would you, you ask man. that? I feel really sick right now. Emma. Emma? Do you know an Emma? Uh -huh. Me either. You know an Emma? But I do, I do not feel good, man. You know an Emma? No. All right, me either. No. Do you want to... We could just... Track, take a break? Yeah, I'm like nauseous as f Yeah, no, if you're if you're feeling weird, we should stop. Cause this Randomly, is, this man, is like right after we opened that, and I didn't even think that was going to do anything. I know, I yeah. I feel terrible inside, actually. I think what I, I would like to do... Water, man. Yeah, I know. I mean, this is the area that, at the point, where I would always stop my investigations, and I would go to a new spot. I always stop after it gets this crazy. Yeah, maybe we should... Always. Maybe we should move on. I'm it's ready. not... Victor? Yeah. Hmm. I'm ready to call it, man. I yeah. don't feel f good. We have, like, such a long walk. Yeah, let's... Victor? I actually know a Victor. That's weird. I mean... <laughs> Should I just ask something? Sure. Is Victor for me? Yes or no? Figured I'd at least ask. Although Emma came up, so that could be nothing. But I do know a Victor. I mean, I, I know an Emma, but she's not living. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my f no. Holy shit. Frightening. And it just said frightening on the thing, and he's actually f***ing thrown up. I think we need to stop and get the f*** out. Okay, f*** this, yeah. We need to stop. Let's let's get the f*** out of here. Are you okay? No, man. Alright, let's stop. Yeah, this. let's stop. Yeah. Whatever spirits are out here, you can't follow us. Yeah, no one's following us. Leave us to. alone. We were trying to talk to someone that wasn't you. I'm shutting all. I'm shutting all this off. I'm fucking I'm shutting all this off. I'm just shutting everything off. Like I don't wanna. You're not allowed to communicate with us from this point forward. Stay away from us. Stay away Fuck. from all. Drain. Drain. It just said drain and terrified, and now it's draining his energy. It's just said drain. I just heard it say drain. You're not allowed to drain us. You stay away from us. I don't even know what the f can do. Let's just get our shit. Let's get out of here, alright? Are you okay right here? Yeah. We're gonna grab your stuff, alright? Man. Alright. I just got Bro. really like legitimately sick. No, I know. I can tell. You're throwing up. We're gonna get out of here, alright? It said it was draining your energy through the thing, bro. Oh, Everything's gonna be Memories fine. here. Oh my god, dude. I don't even like this f***ing place, dude. How we turn this light to f***? I just want a different light on. Anything, I'll take green, f*** it. Just get my shit, get out of here. Yo, like, no bullshit. This is not fucking a joke right now. This is not a joke. You think you just make himself throw up like that? This is honestly f***ing scary. Fucking hell, so much bugs on here. Let's get back to the car. Let's get you some water. Let's just get the f*** away from this church, man. Holy f***. Just the forest, bro. She killed. What? What the f*** did that just say? Did it say video? It said she killed. She killed? 
Dude, I don't even want to take that fucking Dybbuk box with us. I think we should just I'm leave it here. That. No, f that thing. She Holy killed fuck. Oh Yo, let's let's just shut it off, man. Let's get let's just cut off communications. We don't we don't need to fucking deal with this. Wow, bro, something just straight up entered my body in two seconds time. Well, whoever, whatever you are, you're clearly not a good spirit, so I'm not gonna talk to you good either. Stay the fuck away from Colin. Is that like I a, just pulled this out of the ground. Was that a nail. nail? What the hell? My foot was literally on this thing. It's trippy. That is trippy. I I don't even know what that is. The only thing to do in this situation is to always stop everything. Always turn off all your batteries on everything. So the demon or ghost or whatever, I don't really know the realm of demons or if they're real but there's evil ghosts there's evil spirits turn all the equipment off so it doesn't get its batteries or because it'll, it'll leech on you and charge on you so turn everything off and just f***ing I don't know goddamn pray <laughs> the f me either like, we had scratches on our back, well, my back on the UK, but I never seen someone throw up, like, hard, ever. And it was instant. Instant. Huh? I know. I mean... Dude. You good now? Yeah, are you alright? I gotta sit down. Yeah, take it. Dude, you're sweating hard. Whatever it is. I know, is. I got really f***. No, I did, man. I mean, I, moved, I shut everything, well, we shut all the devices off. Everything. Yeah, because I was saying, I was like, if anything... Ghosts will like take the battery power to get even, <coughs> even worse, so. <coughs> Sorry. Shit. It's all good, man. Don't worry. I mean, we have everything turned off now. I think. I was sitting there and I didn't feel bad at all. And then all of a sudden, I just started to feel a pain and like I'm shaking now and then <clears throat> Alice Box. Yeah. Then all of a sudden I turned it off. You did? Alex Box has been turned off this whole time. It's Unless they turned it on. At this point I'll believe in anything. Wait, what were you saying? I gotta go see what that said. Yeah. This uh it just came on like the fuck? It's trying to get our attention, bro. Hang on. I had the Alex box turned off. Is it in my bag? It says tell and fist. It turned on by itself, but the words are tell and fist. So I don't know what that means. I'm just letting you all know. It, it, you swear you turned that off? I turned it off before we entered to the new room because he was using his a new box. His new box. So I didn't need this one anymore. It just turned on. Tell and fist. Tell. Tell what? It wants to say something? It only turned... Large. 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 Tell, fist, and large. Is something large here? Something... I don't know. Something's going on. It's going again. Act. Act. Tell, fist, large, act. I feel like they're angry. And dude, it turned on again by itself. I didn't I didn't turn this on. Right. That's odd as fuck. Are you good to move on? We gotta get out of here. Yeah, we feel like yeah, we can give you a I feel break. like I could die right now. I mean, you're not gonna die. You're gonna you're gonna be all right. I know, but just the feeling I have is like, yeah, something's in my chain. 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 
It's tr is it trying to like take you? Are you trying to take Colin right now? We need to get out of here, dude. Honestly. Yeah. Like, even if you're like out of here. I guarantee you, the minute we start walking, you're gonna feel better. Cause we'll be away from this area. This area is really bad. I just got a breeze in the back of my neck. No. Yes, I did. Like a breathing, like a breathing breeze on the back of my neck just now. <coughs> <coughs> oh shit, I scared myself. Now I'm just freaked out this fly. Yeah. Yeah, we should just get the f out, bro. Now I'm, I don't even want to be here. I do not. I'm not allowing anybody or anything to follow us. <clears throat> or specifically me. I don't know if it has to do with that box that I don't even believe in. Or if you're here. But please. Stay here. Whatever you are, you're not welcome with us. We don't want to communicate with you. We don't want your presence. If you came with the Dybbuk box, we're leaving it here. We don't normally do stuff like that. And we're never going to do something like this again. So stay here. Don't follow us. And leave, leave Colin alone. Leave all of us alone. Do not follow us. You're not allowed. Hey man, real quick, just for your guys' stuff, I want to point out, I think this is the worst I've ever felt on a ghost hunt. Like ever? Ever. And this is not even a famous haunted place, but... I mean, you look like shit, bro. I know I do. I feel for like real. shit, man. Like... Yeah. There's something that's like in my head, too. Like, I get, I'm like pissed off right now, and I feel fucking horrible. And it's just, it's not good, man. I, I don't know how to articulate that. Other than I really am just fucking, just not good. But we're gonna get the f out. Yeah. yeah, this is like the one time that I've ever really been like, I wanna leave right now. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's do that. The, let's get back to the car let's and just talk do that. about what we wanna yeah. do. right outside this window. What is that? A goddamn pentagram. Wow. Right outside the fucking window, bro. And dude, you wanna know some weird ass shit? But that's actually where we're hearing the taps. That's what I'm saying. This is the area where we opened the box and I got real sick too. I know. That's trippy. This is the only pentagram I've seen. Usually there's tons. Yeah. Yeah. not feel good truthfully i still don't know exactly what happened that night i still don't know if i even believe in demons but what i do know is that something evil entered my body i touched something dark and whether that has to do with the park's history the blair witch project whether it came from that cursed box that i opened that night or whether it's something that's attached to that old abandoned church. Those are just answers that I don't have. All I have are my experiences and what I can show you through the lens of my camera. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. It's Colin here. I'm all good now. And stay spooky.
Hello. <laughs>